Hi, I'm Dane with Scargan Dickey Parts Center and in front of me is a Gen 4 AFM repair kit. Uh, this one specifically is for the uh, 5.3 liter. We also have the components available for a 6 liter and 6.2 liter. Uh, but of course you can be able to get those links down below or up above if it's on Facebook. So of course, just right off the top, the majority of the stuff that we have here is actually in the kit, except for, I believe, the front timing cover portion, which is your camshaft uh, installation kit. And then the camshaft on this one, unlike the Gen 5 AFM repair kit, the camshaft is actually part of this kit. Uh, another part that is not here, which is just because of the fact that it's on national control at the time that we're recording this video, is the Vlom. Uh, whenever you go through and do this installation, we highly recommend that you replace that Vlom, which is the valley cover that has the solenoids in the bottom. Uh, you've probably seen it in other videos that we've talked about before in the AFM delete kits. So when the Vlom fails, which more often than not is actually the culprit for all of this, it causes your AFM lifters to fail, which then causes them to fail and damage your camshaft, which if you decided to drive long enough for that really nasty ticking to go on, you've probably destroyed the engine and we have short blocks for that as well. But for those that actually are able to salvage their motor, this is a great kit, especially if you live in certain states or countries that have, you know, more strict smog controls uh, or, you know, you can't do any aftermarket tuning on your PCM because they scan for that every time that you go through and, and get all that updated. Or maybe it's just a work truck or your family car and you know you don't want the big lopy cam or anything else like that to drop the kids off at school. That's okay. I'm not going to judge. So overall, this is the setup. You have your uh, replacement uh, cylinder head bolts. Uh, these are torque to yield, so please do not try to, you know, reuse these as much as the internet might say that you can. Uh, you also have your crankshaft bolt. Uh, this is another one that you do not want to try and reuse or else you like to you know, be passed in traffic by your front uh, you know, harmonic balancer. Timing cover seals uh, with your crankshaft, timing cover gasket, water pump gaskets, as well as your exhaust manifold uh, gaskets and then of course your head gaskets. Uh, please don't reuse your original head gaskets. Like I said, as much as the internet says you can. Um, <clears throat> we can understand if it's, you know, a uh, heroic fix just to get the car home or something like that. But overall, this is something that if you want to maintain the reliability of your of your engine as well as you know make it worth your money, then try not to reuse some of these components. Uh, also you do have to remove the cylinder heads to be able to do all of this just because of the fact that the lifters themselves are captive under the cylinder head. It's not like on a small block or a big block or you know even like some of my friends that or myself as a uh, Buick 3800 all that stuff is the lifters are actually in the valley so you could actually pull that. All of these are under the cylinder head and especially you don't want to try and wrestle around with the uh, the DOD lifters. Another one that you don't have in this shot right here is the non-AFM lifters. So like the LS7 lifters that you get, uh, those are going to be the other portion that work on the non-deactivated uh, cylinders. So some of this, it's going to be where you need to actually start pulling the engine apart to diagnose what it is that's making the noise. So you might find, hey, I've got only two bad DOD lifters we still recommend replacing all of them. You might also go through and find, okay, well, the camshaft looks okay. So you, that's all right. But the important thing is making sure that everything else in the whole system looks okay and that you've inspected it, or else you could run the risk of going down the road again, 20 minutes later, you still have the tick. And then you're wondering why in the world you got that uh, taken care of in the first place. <clears throat> so also, Lifter buckets. We have, you can see the different style holes. Uh, this one here is for the non-AFM and this is for the AFM. That way the large uh, body on these lifters can go through and then uh, they can be activated by the Vlom. So if you have any questions about the installation on this kit, feel free to give us a call. Uh, I'll 
put the phone number in the bottom of the video or even in our links. Uh, we also have uh, links to the products in the description. Uh, so both the uh, 5.3 AFM kit and the 6 liter and 6.2 liter uh, AFM repair kit. Uh, and if you're interested in actually just deleting it, we also have those kits as well as other performance cam options. If you're not quite wanting to get the camshaft or if you want to get other components on top of this, feel free to give us a call or contact us. Uh, you know, we've got sales at scogandickeypartscenter.com uh, or I think it's SD Parts. I'll make sure. <laughs> we'll put that down on the bottom. Uh, but reach out to us. Uh, we would love to help you guys make sure that your vehicle is back together and you're able to go on down the road and uh, enjoy driving your vehicle like the rest of us do. So uh, if you have any other questions or you know would like us to go over something else in our products that we have or have any other tech questions that have been bugging you, uh, you know, maybe have a shower thought after watching this video. Feel free to comment down below, uh, share, like, subscribe, hit all the other sort sorts of buttons that we've got here and uh, we'd love to we'd love to hear from y'all um, we want to be able to start making more of these on a weekly basis again and uh, thanks again for watching and we'll see you next week